We're here overlooking the Piazza di Popolo, where behind me you can see the Flaminio Obelisk. This obelisk was the first one to be brought to Rome in 10 BC by Caesar Augustus to celebrate his victory over Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. He instructed a specially designed flat boat to be built to carry the obelisk back to Rome. Upon its arrival in Rome, the obelisk was given a new base and used as a sundial amongst the chariot racing that commonly took place here in the Circus Maximus. The obelisk was such a prominent feature in Roman culture that there is a story that in 68 AD, Roman Emperor Nero placed his winning crowns at the base of the obelisk after a day of racing. It is the only known Egyptian obelisk to never have had a pair commissioned. That Pope Sixtus V was reorganizing and rebuilding Rome. His plan for the city included using the obelisk as a visual focal point that would help guide people to and from the vital city organs. As you can see, the Flaminio Obelisk is located in the Piazza del Popolo, but is also where the three major city avenues intersect, making it a vital part of the Capitoline Hill.